Are you so highly stressed that you are battling to sleep? That's the plan of the devil, to steal your joy because if you're having a restless sleep, you get up in the morning tired and weary and you can't face the day. Friends, the Bible is very clear about managing your stress. Stress comes through worry and it's that time of the year again. We are concerned about what we're going to do. The season is upon us. Friends, once again, Philippians 4, 6 says, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Hallelujah. The cure for your stress is take it to the Lord in prayer. And what will happen? Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. Hallelujah. Why? Because when you tell God your needs and thank Him for what He has done, it becomes history because He takes care of it. And we serve a great God. Yes, indeed, friends. Stress can be very fatal. I, I say it again. It's the devil's plan to wipe you out. If he can get your body to be sick, then you lose focus for what God has really called you to do. That's right. When you're sick in body and even in your mind, other things around you tend to get to the side. And friends, Paul is very, very specific again in writing to the church in Philippi. And he titles it, Words of Encouragement. We don't need to worry about anything, friends. We end over everything in prayer to God the Father in the name of Jesus. He sent the Holy Spirit to be our comforter, to be our guide. That's right, to be our intercessor, to be our advocate. So there's no need to stress. When we've handed over everything to God and thank Him for what He has done in advance, oh, friends, the peace that comes upon us through the working of the Holy Spirit is something we cannot explain. Therefore, in verse 7, Paul says, you will experience that peace that only God can give you. So I don't know where you are today, friends. You could be going through something that you think you've come to the end of the road with. There's always hope. There's always an answer in God. Take everything to God in prayer. Just like the hymn writer says, what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. That's right. He bears everything. He is the burden bearer. Take it to him in prayer. And I pray as I pray, that burden will be lifted in Jesus' name. No matter what you're going through, he will see you through. Mighty God and Heavenly Father, Daddy, we come in no other name but of your Son, Jesus Christ. Father, I know that there are many that are listening out here today. Daddy, that have burdens that are weighing them down so heavily that they can't turn to the left or to the right. They can't even, Father, focus on what they are doing. But I know, Daddy, that you said, bring it all to you. And today, Father, I stand in the gap for those that can't in some way do it. And I know, Lord, you will undertake for them in Jesus' name. Today, I rebuke every plan of Satan over their lives. Whether it's sickness, needs, Lord, spiritually that need your intervention. In Jesus' mighty name, I take authority over those things that have been troubling your precious sons and daughters. And I command 
every plan of Satan to be brought to zero right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Friends, remember everything to God in prayer. Wow. Until next time, this is Pastor Henry Samuels praying that you remain touched and changed in Jesus' mighty name. Stay blessed. Thank <laughs> you.